All right, guys, welcome back to the conclusion, or final conclusion, of the Life is Strange 2 playthrough. I actually forgot all about it, but while I was drinking and doing the Team Fortress 2 thing, after I got done with that, my buddy Riley was like, oh, you gotta finish Life is Strange 2, and I was like, oh, I've been meaning to do this. And now I'm just so drunk and filled with inspiration and motivation, I can do it. Like Undertale. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this time we put down Daniel like Old Yeller. There's two endings we're looking for. We're either putting down Daniel or we're going to Mexico. Those are the only two. Uh, this is the last one. Where's all the music at? Is the music gone? Let the music play. You won't get away. Shouldn't be broken. I know of. But we'll figure it out, I guess. Maybe it's not playing music because it's... Oh, there it goes. Woo! Music. Yeah! Wait a second. God, I'm drunk. Okay, we can do this. Uh, let me turn up the volume a little bit, just in case, because I know the game talks, and I want y'all to hear it. Hopefully it's not too loud. Heyday, baby. Oh, wait, is this right? Maybe I was supposed to be on... Oh, uh, that's the wrong episode. Go back! Help! Send an adult. Uh, back. Ooh, found it. Faith. This is one where we dumb that lady in the head. Straight up headshot, baby. Let's go. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world. Yes, remind me of what we did. Brothers, living in their home there, with their papa wolf. They lived in peace, until hunters took their dad away. Got him. No, I'm just kidding. We've seen this intro like 12 times Both now. Both brothers wandered for days <laughs> and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Super dickhead. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long so and dangerous. dangerous. Like my dick! No. Oh my god. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about Shit. the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put oh. him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Fuck the coyotes. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, Mama Wolf. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader. Yeah, I don't she like the mom. Released the little wolf. He was their idol. And we shot her in so the fucking the head. Had to kill her. So they could escape. Hey. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother Squad. far into the desert to her hideaway. Squad? Hey. I, I like where we're at right now. We did pretty good. We went. It's been a long, uh, long roundabout, but we got where. Life is Strange too. Yeah, we already know that. I do like how they do have the um refresher course when you start the new chapter because it's been a hot minute that stone on the left looks highly strange very suspect just saying <laughs> okay <laughs> let's uh, move the camera somewhere else these phallic symbols are everywhere Scorpion. What's up, homie? Take me to your leader. Some sad violin. There's no reason yet.
Hey, we're back together. Let's freaking go. Let's ride, boys. Hey. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, oh, we're so tired. What? What time is it? Alright, time. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Where are we at? Arizona? The Grand Canyon? Where is the Grand Canyon? Nevada? I don't know. I'm not one of them geographers. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Time to learn how to fly, Daniel. Wow. That's amazing. I'm a long way. I know. What does my back right butt pocket say? Space fuckers? Yeah. No. It just itches. I don't have my ointment, dog. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. What? Daniel's not being a dickhead? That means he's gonna die. So, someone's gonna try to kill no Daniel. No matter what happens. <laughs> you hear me? Shit. Yeah. I love you too. I love me too. Ow! 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 What if Daniel was like this whole story? Like, half of this stuff wouldn't have happened. <laughs> we would have already been in Mexico. Diaz brothers. I guess he is just a kid, Always. but damn, dude. Alright. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No, I just... Where'd mom just go? Think about what happened. I do too. I do too. But she was gonna hurt you. The right Kill thing me. to do. Maybe... Big brain. We could've changed your mind. No. Do you... I would've done it again. Feel bad about it? Mm -mm. 10 out of 10. Hell of a headshot. Yes, I should. Because if I don't tell him I feel bad about it, he's gonna think murder's okay. We can't have that. He's got too much power. Appease yes. him. I don't feel bad about it. I would do it again. <laughs> like, you can't no. go back. Right. Sean. Are we criminals now? Now you're a criminal. <laughs> I'm just a fucking pirate, dog. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. You're a yeah. criminal. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Again? Oh. Yeah. We just got through I the wolf story. You. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Literally like two oh, months yeah. ago. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between Let's them go. And father's their land. destination lied. A mighty fire unicorn. Ah, <laughs> yeah. But she's nice, so Is they she? become friends. Nope. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. 
Who's telling the story? You're goofing off story, bro. You are. But it's my story too. Right? Yeah, I guess. This is my version, son! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... They... They arrive in Mexico. Yeah! But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay I got my dope tattoo. and become heroes. The police forgives them. And all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Come on, not have Let's to pack this shit up and head back to town. Might not have to put you down like old Yeller after all, my dude. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. Holy crap, it's a telescope. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. It's like we're right there. Maybe I should leave some stuff. Maybe it's gonna weigh me down. Watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Oh, hey, we have things I to do. I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. You are the man. Oh, he's gonna use his power. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Feel bad, like, promoting his, uh, power use. But Perfect formation. It might be coming handy in the long run. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Hey. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <laughs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. I'm plenty of fun. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. Thanks, fam. <laughs> Every star looked the same. Oh. Until we used Karen's old. I already guidebook. read that. Back it. My back hurts a little. I swear, Dad, that that's the same we're sleeping in, in the garage. garage. There's yeah. like twelve conversations going did. on. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it Special reminded thing. him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. All right, last thing I believe. Let's draw. Draw on time, baby. We haven't done this in a while. It's been a while. Oh, sketching time. Hell Good yeah. Idea. Thanks, man. That's what I'm here for. Old pirate yeah, sketch. Oh my god, I still have the. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Dan. Still missing an eyeball, apparently. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Almost. That's so cool. You can't sketch that perception, so I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Oh yeah, like, we can draw you as a superhero. Striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. The old dog. What was this, this Surfer tower Daniel? Is so cool. I that's love cool. Tie that's a cool stuff. drawing. That actually looks super Tada. dope. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh man. Hey, I look do at you. look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. You could be. Hey, we got an achievement out of ink. Probably our last drawing in the game. Let's look at it. It's so we have so much stuff, dude. This book with his drawings makes you feel so nostalgic over all the other things you did in the game. It's insane. 
Like, I'd feel so, oh, overwhelmed. He dead. That's pretty crazy nostalgia. Um, flashlight. Well, that's pretty nice we got it, though. Back. There's the coyotes away. Joanne makes the best curries ever. Sorry, hippies. We still get hot. We still gotta have our candy. Got a cool jacket, too. What is this? Slots. What is all this? So this place is a way is so this place I don't know what that word is is what you make it Joanne haunts it with cool ass gulp oh this is easier so this place away is what you make it but Joanne haunts it with cool ass sculptures and makes from made from scavenged scraps she's a cool and sunny woman Karen's closest thing to a best friend it seems cool as heck and ornamental tattoos take my time today I'm so confused. That was so hard to read. Daniel's power is no secret here. No one gives a shit. Oh, that's when we're talking the... Arthur and Stanley live in... Oh my god, where's the read? Live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together ten years ago from the ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple of young love. I don't remember any of those characters. Got a letter from Cass today. Feels good. Would love to hang with her someday again. <laughs> with her again someday. Yeah. This place makes me want to... These are hard to draw. I could stare at these canyons forever. Did the pictures get harder to read? Or what? Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. Needs to find ways to help him process this. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike across the mountain. Track sessions feel like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Ursa Major. Ursa Major. Man Hor Horsarius. Probably the best view ever. Go and stare... Yeah, stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. I don't remember Arthur at all, to be honest with you. But I guess it don't matter. All right, good enough, I believe. Is there something down here that I can't see? Telescope. All right, we did it. Good enough. Hack it. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. On the road again. I don't like this ominous music. <coughs> Excuse me. Just can't wait to get on. What are you what doing are you with that doing? scorpion, dog? Don't do that. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Don't kill it. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Hey, we're going. Let's I go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> this time we keep up with Daniel. Hey. We saw the Milky Way, dude. Oh, he's running. How cool What's is up? that? Yeah, Super cool. that's true. And Mars. That was so cool, Arthur and Stanley let us... What if they did this with, like, uh, yeah. one-eye vision, too? These guys are real cool. And I fell off the mountain. 
Can I fall off the mountain? See ya, bitch! Oh, no. <laughs> Jump off the mountain. Fuck you, Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Joanne will let me help her with a sculpture when we get back? Weed! Hell yeah. We love weed. I'm like the magic assistant. Amazing that anything can grow out right here. That's a tumbleweed. Does it ever rain in the desert? Mm hmm. Well. Oh. Yes, it does. Uh. Good question. It does. I know for a fact it anyway, does. What I was saying is, it's nice to be able to use my power out here, not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean, just she let hasn't this seen conversation me for years. go. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. Did I check my objectives? It said backspace, didn't it? I don't know. I don't know what key that was. Oh, tab. What's our objectives? Lisa, you're tearing me apart. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Help your brother down, bro. We could just leave him up there. See you, fam. <laughs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Very good. Let me hey, have little things, bro. Let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Ooh, you wanna move these, fam? Look, look. Oh, man. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah. And you scared it. Looks I like know. a job for our local super psychic boy. Move this for me, bro. Be the homie. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Bro, I saw you lift a whole freaking continent out of the water. You can move this. Okay. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. Why is his eyes gone? He's a god dang robot. Trying to take over the planet with his superpowers. God, it's Nowheresville. With courage, a cowardly dog. Somebody's a scrap metal guru. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> nope. Back soon. Love pancakes. I'm more of a waffles guy, but pancakes are good. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Daniel. Roger, Dodger. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. How am I gonna discuss them? With who? 
Oh. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. <laughs> but no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. Soon. You can grow a lot of stuff there. Like the weed. Man practices what she preaches. She barters with her food. Not money. Hmm. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Looks like he's living his best life. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Still can't believe she's kept it. What in the technology is this thing? Like? Some cool off the grid shit. Pretty cool. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. I bet. Did you fill up the Dude, water tank, ding dong? We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, it'd be awesome. We can't do food coloring out here. What? Okay. We can get solar panels, but we can't get food coloring. Pretty smart. Right, dope. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. There's a lot of things out here. Yeah, I know. Check on Daniel. Oh wait, I gotta bring the <laughs> telescope back to Arthur. So. I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. True. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Hmm. <laughs> Except for her own kids. I still think Karen's a terrible parent. Regardless. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I'm a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces. The privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans. Then shows me the page. Left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope to water the children of the sun. Sure. This one's pretty intense. Don't believe I would find I a I soul it. within or without a church. A miracle of sleep and food and fuck. A day without shit until it was not. Now... We run to celestial spires, old visions of the fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief. As the burning cross falls on all your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanities. So when the dam breaks, we all flood, like glass on a mirage, if I believe. All right. Wow. Oh, shit. These I are so Karen long. sends this to Claire and Steven. Hi, Mom and Dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while now, and I know it's been a long, long time coming, so I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I would have written ten years ago. You always used to say everything happens for a reason. We forgot, thought about it then. I understand why now. There's a reason I feel like I've reached out to both of you, you both, tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter for almost a decade. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you, like you told me. Don't laugh, but I just didn't know what to say or write. Poet's blog. Just like you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand that was how you had to deal with the problem, child. An only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden and weight of your aspirations as parents failed me too. You had a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be. That I just didn't have the chance, opportunity to explore who I was. 
You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a job and a great husband, settle down to breed, have kids, and raise them in faith, and continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view, like you didn't understand your wayward daughter. Maybe a bridge too far from us at the time. After Danny was born, you know, knew I wanted to take a break. Some time to figure out, figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you, your, you or dad. I, and I get that, but you didn't see how. I was so, so desperate and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw on how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave and maybe a time out would have led to the same outcome. We will never know and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster and there have been times I long to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help, but it was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. I'm sorry I reached out to you this day. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I am sorry I left let you broke broke mine for silencing me so, for so long. I think we paid our dues, and now I sit under a blue red field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am, riding and waiting for a chance to rebuild our rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love your daughter. Whew, that was a long one. Excuse me. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Megan and Karen. I don't know who those are, but... Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Why by night, not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop, that cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pulls of a million dead poets take takes me to dance again. Go, but this time I get to lead until the next flight. Karen looks so oh, young and fragile this. on this picture. Hmm. Looks like they all finally found their home. No, we're not eating the pancakes. We got Daniel's big ten late birthday party. Made him feel so happy. That's good. Look at that hot sauce. Look at it. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, yeah. gross. Yeah, that's a strange flavor combination, but oh yeah, you as as it. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. Can't blame me, it looks hot. Used to use some I tea. totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Aw. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Back when we had eyeballs. Is that an eyeball? Whoa. Nyla always knew how to crack me up. Is there nothing else I can interact with here? Lame. Whoa. It all leads to the same I thing. Gone that Trap. Stripe weeks ago. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing. Hey, it's situations. Brody. The last time I saw I my mother before this me. year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That I was done with this whole bullshit family. My real family were the strangers I met on the road who became friends, not my family, who became strangers. I adopted all the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls that I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in the hospice care at our Utah home. 
her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. And all the years of family bullshit flew away to dust. Like that, finger snap. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or hard. Or so hard. It does didn't mean the past didn't happen. Or that I wasn't responsible in my own way. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal because while I was out trying to save the world, he had to take care of mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right. But I told him that he also had the money to take care of them. God damn, I was in charge of the finances. I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke. Living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Society tells us to love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance. But wh what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked about random DNA? What if... Oh, doesn't let us know what comes after what if. Oh, here it goes. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's, I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I roll. You tend to have those streams at 3 a.m., an empty glass gas station, or in some desolate highway freeway. Yes, I've seen strong family bonds in hard times. I know there are big siblings out there who will always care for their little siblings and vice versa. That's us. Talking about us. They help me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem. In our, her last hours, my brother and I held my mother's mom's thin fingers as she passed onto a place I hope is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found a stash of some old school essays and stories, the one, only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept this stuff or what she, that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mom, no, mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time, it felt good. So now I've come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alo alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and destiny, or the dharma of priv the privilege. Don't panic, but I may be taking a more break from life on wheels, just to see who or what I can help. Now I have more resources spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, insert sarcasm. <laughs> if we're still talking after all this memorial bonding, okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside of my comfort zone, send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with, places I can explore to tell new stories from like Canada or Mexico, or the road never ends. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Aw. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabras <laughs> from outer space. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <laughs> Snake clamp. Let's go. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... It feels kind of awkward to be here. Where do we put the telescope at? Oh, who's Jacob? I'm so glad Jacob. Oh God, what is this fucking handwriting? Oh, yeah, he's a he dude. Deserves some peace. Oh God. Hola, Sean. Sorry, I did not write you, to you sooner, but this was the first time I've had the chance to relax after what we get, after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother, I can't, still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to tell them, to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. Thanks to my old savings account, I finally got Sarah Lee antibiotics. So she's been feeling better pretty fast. Kids are like superhumans. 
<laughs> you tell me. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You are lucky to have each other, and when you both came our way, we were blessed. I'm trying to track down our home bolt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jacob. Oh, wait, there's the next. Shit. I'm so cute. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Like Lila hope you're competition now. Hope you're good and happy. I feel so much better now. It took forever before we found a place to live, but we finally did. I love this cold weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends. Sarah Lee, the bread. Bread lady. All right, we did it all. Where do we take this telescope? <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Is this where the telescope goes? Who's David? David always wants to help. But know who David is. Out. I don't even know who he is. I hope the UFOs are listening. Where are the people that own this telescope? Is it over here? Maybe? You don't shit where you sleep, kid. Mark. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. That's not the right place, actually. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. I'm at the wrong place. Gotta put the telescope back, wherever it came from. Are you the telescope people? Would you like your telescope Morning, back? Sean. What's up, Morning, fam? Guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join Morning, us. friends. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. Hey, desert brew, and let's go. Free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, hi. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Great. Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never hmm. gets old. Unlike us, darling. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. <laughs> Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. That too's a pretty dope. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Fair. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. Well, the end. Hmm. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh huh. That was not a 25 laugh. On the next hike. 
I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. <laughs> Thanks for the desert brew. Doesn't sound like 25 to me. You used to remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Not wrong. Let's take some fireworks, can't we? Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. I mean, Might need those. Home alone, baby. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. Stanley's such a tech nerd. Pretty hey, impressive. Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley? Giving him the damn cactus. You're a thing, little man. too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, <laughs> you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. It's normal, bro. You know, it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. <laughs> I just mean, they're really cute together. I <laughs> hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Love watching movies under the stars. That's super cool. They got like a projector screen. With no cars. That's actually pretty dope. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Phew, I might have to take a nap soon. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this whole part in one go. There's power cuts all the time here. It's been like an hour, and but I no one's really don't feel like I've it. advanced too far. Granted, I'm not like speedrunning it, but Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Hey, we're an artist. Hear that damn thing grinding. Always using super. What's up, power. Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Ooh, okay, surfboard. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is. Something special. Yeah. What? I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Everybody mm. got tattoos. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Not as cool as my wolf tattoo, you though. You have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. True. It's okay to not know stuff. That's why I don't know shit. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen... If you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, I'll have can. superpowers. I just need your input, okay? Oh shit, I'm an input master, let's go. <laughs> okay, sure, <laughs> why not? Ah, there you go. Now, Go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. It's about to be badass. What are we doing on the high ground? So, for my next trick, about to chop I them in half. To see if you can connect these three pieces. Oh, too easy. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. 
Ah, and my we time. don't need a crane to lift this stuff. We got Daniel. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Body slam it. Yeah, baby. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. The spider. Are there any other options? Oh, not that I see. This now, one. let's throw on that spider. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are we putting it on top? I don't want to. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an artist. Like a snowman. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Yay, we're doing it. I'm feeling it. Great success. Wait. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Watch this. Well, that's kind of cool. What is this supposed to be facing? Oh, okay, got it. Kind of. This is actually really difficult. Looks right to me. We're good, baby. I'm done. Our work here is over. Yeah, it's good. Works for me. Good enough. Now, 10. I feel like we're almost done. Are we not well, done? I think this is it. Looks good to me. That. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's hey. no escape. Hey. I'm I probably messed up. I don't care. Day. I'm not an artist. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Looks like he's having a good time. That was fun. You jigging. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help I build her sculpture. Like Getting jiggy with it. It's kind of like this. Yeah, is it? I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yeah, it's one of yes. the video games. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious Patriot. Where do we go from here? I'm feeling it. Horrid politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Wait for Karen to come back. What are we supposed to do while we wait for Karen to come back? Sand drawing. Nailed it. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. What a nice chair. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get... America! It changes. I thought the people here would be like And fish. the rainbow, baby. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Yeah, might as well just be they happy. Sound like do what you gotta do, fam. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. As long as you ain't getting in anybody else's way, do what you gotta do.
<laughs> we drank so much alcohol. How bad time for me? <laughs> Super Wolf to LDS Glow Loco. What's up, fam? Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. But you had it. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Hell yeah, fam. Ten four. Okay. You're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. True. That was a struggle. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. Is that a dick? Go for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Okay. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Dude, it's so cool that people it. want to give a second life to their stuff. Nope. As cold as ever. Those no, people came here totally with these and never left. All right, Daniel. I need better hints than this, my dude. Glad you're cold. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Oh, this one. Got it. Far. Got it. Warm. Got it. Warmer. Hot. Warming up. Getting hot. What? I already looked at this, dude. You're <laughs> You think they picked this up at the gas station? Hey. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Yeah. We found it. It's a god dang, what's it call it? I don't know what it is. It's a map. Oh god, not a map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Ahoy, matey. I found a map. Arr! Yeah. <laughs> it's because he's got an eye patch. Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. What eats the sun? Oh, the solar panels. Duh. Duh. Closer. I know where it's at. Not too far. Warm. Warmer. Hot. You're on fire, baby. Getting That's. Warm. Oh, getting super close. I'm here. Your boy. It's close, Sean. Yeah, I know. Whoa! X more smart. We put the paper together. We got the cars where we were looking. Got it. Easy. Found it. Noise. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. yeah. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. What's what? Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Pretty dope. told me everything about treasure hunting. We could also try to be self sufficient when we're in Mexico. Our stickers now. All right, guys. Oh, thanks for watching part one of our final episode of Life is Strange 2. I would finish the whole thing, but I'm really drunk and I need to go to bed. Um, 
We'll figure out what's in the treasure next time because I like to leave on a cliffhanger. So find out next time on Life is Strange 2 what's under the ground at the car shack. Alright guys. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!